Scott Hyde as an artist, as a concerned individual, as a friend and fabulous community member is a secret treasure who doesn't take art too seriously, who enjoys making pictures for himself as well as other people to enjoy, and ultimately has given the gift of new and innovative designs and techniques for everyone to share. We love uh, art and even drawings uh, by artists that are two, three, four hundred years old. And uh, I hope that some of my pictures uh, may hang in like that. Not many, <laughs> a few. And everyone is going to digital now. Oh, yeah, so you so collected all these. So I collected, I've got about 15 got? of them. Huh? 15 of them. Oh, great stuff. And I like the idea of, of making uh, photographs uh, inexpensive. Uh, Art becomes valuable, uh, uh, and 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 there's this obsession in the art world and art collectors of the rising values of paintings or unique art objects, and I like to make them as multiple so anybody can buy them who wants them. He was a photographer in New York City from the 40s to the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. And he really had his finger on the pulse of what was going on there from being in some of the most important jazz clubs, hanging out with some of the best artists of the time period. Um, he definitely was validating, meaning that you can do this. He was exposed to all those artists. I mean, some of the artists he hung out with, like Andy Warhol or Jasper Johns, were, are some of the most successful artists in the world. So he was kind of like a catalyst for us to link to that real art world. I moved to New York in 1947. I was a red hot 21 years old, I think, and started work for House and Garden and, and did commercial work like that. It, at the, the same subway, time it was actually going I was on. Fighting in the subway, huh? <laughs> I'm sure you did that um, when you got home and not, yeah, right. not, in the, not in the moment. When I had the opportunity to go to New York City to visit with some of the people that Scott knew and to research some of the holdings and the museums that he had there, there were countless news articles and uh, credits for his work in different publications that I had no idea existed before. And I remember trying to get him to teach me how to do photography and he was like, why, you have Photoshop, what you can do with a flick of a switch, it used to take me two weeks. Um, and so he's really encouraging the new ideas. Um, he's always just kind of been a good inquisitive soul. Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC 7 News.